everybody, it's Suzanne. And in this video, I wanna talk about the toy shortage that has been in the news the past couple of months, because this might affect how you want to approach holiday selling this year in 2021. And in a nutshell, what's happening is the supply chain has been interrupted for many reasons, not just COVID, but the supplies are not getting to the United States in the same amount of time or volume that we have been accustomed to. So if you have toys in your inventory, in your death pile that you haven't listed yet, um, this is a great time to get those listed or when you are out thrifting or at garage sales, if you're finding, especially new in the package toys or even used toys, that might be something you wanna pick up if you aren't even a toy seller because what the predictions are, which I'll show you the news articles in just a minute, um, are that whatever is already in the United States is going to be selling online much better than retailers with brick and mortar, such as Target and Walmart, those stores that sell toys, because they can't get the supply that they're used to. And even now in August, the shelves are almost completely bare. This is a problem for all kinds of products, not just toys, but fourth quarter is the time of year that you want to get those toys listed so they can sell. Um, and this really isn't about price gouging. It's just about availability. So I always discourage price gouging because I just don't think that's an ethical thing to do, but everybody has their own opinion on that. Um, just understand that the availability is much lower than previous years and that consumers are going to be looking online to purchase toys for the holiday season. So if you have it, <laughs> list it because we might see something amazing happen with toy sales. Um, they predicted this last year too and it really wasn't as earth shattering as predicted, but um, these are predictions, so we can only go by what reputable news sites are telling us. And this just feels like an opportunity for eBay sellers to sell more because you're already in the United States. You may already have this inventory in your home or your warehouse or wherever you store your stuff. And especially if it's not listed, because consumers are being urged to buy early. So yes, we are only in mid-August, but the fourth quarter buying frenzy usually starts uh, the week before Halloween. And uh, you wanna be ready. You wanna have these things listed and you wanna offer international shipping because um, that's the one thing you can do to get more sales that doesn't require more work. And the shortage of toys is going to be felt around the world, not just in the United States. So um, Canada, Europe, all those places that you can ship to very easily and you know, increase your opportunities for sales. So let's go over some of the news articles that are out there so you'll know what's going on and where this information is coming from. Okay, we're gonna start with this article on Market Watch. It was first published on July 20th, 2021, updated on July 24th, 2021. The title is, Santa could be stalled as supply chain issues put toy sector at risk for the holidays. COVID-driven supply chain challenges have affected companies across a variety of sectors. Santa had better get to work now in order to get toys under the tree by the holidays. UBS analysts, that's an investment firm, 
have raised concerns that supply chain issues driven by COVID-19 could affect the toy category during the critical holiday season. There is now increasing risk supply disruption could put a strain on toy inventory in the months leading up to the holiday season. Inventory in the channel is relatively clean, driven by overall healthy demand and supply constraints that have worsened. Toy demand was elevated during 2020 when parents were looking for ways to entertain homebound children. Add to that the calendar that usually guides inventory moving into the holiday shopping season has been upended. We could start to see supply holes as early as September and October ahead of holiday season, analysts said. Toy makers with robust direct import programs with mass merchants such as Walmart, Target, and Amazon have been relatively better positioned in navigating supply chain disruptions. Besides the supply chain challenges, UBS highlights other near-term issues like stimulus money, which fueled purchases earlier this year and last year, has largely been spent. And when consumers do spend these days, it's more likely to be on experiences such as dining out and travel rather than goods. Hasbro is scheduled to report second quarter earnings on July 26th, and Mattel is scheduled to release results the following day. Press reports have these disruptions continuing into the late summer, peak demand period, which could cause inventory shortages during the holiday season. Okay, and here's one more just to drive this point home. <laughs> On Fortune on July 29th, 2021, this article was posted, Possible Toy Shortage Looms This Holiday Season. And the nuts and bolts of this one are, Continuing troubles in the shipping industry are making toy makers and retailers concerned about whether there will be a sufficient supply of toys this holiday season. Concerned parents might want to begin shopping earlier than usual. Okay, there you have it. They have told parents to start shopping now. The disruption is even worse than last year when many ports were closed, say toy industry execs. Most toys are made in China. This year, bottlenecks at seaports are to blame. Some toys are expected to experience months-long delays before hitting store shelves. There could still be unanticipated supply chain challenges, and it's hard to tell what the future may hold, says the CEO of Mattel. Even the toys that do make it to shelves could be more expensive. Manufacturers are running up costs as they try to combat the supply issue. As a result, renegotiations are underway with retailers on prices, which are normally agreed on up to a year in advance. So this is key for resellers because they're saying, even the toys that make it to the shelves could be more expensive. We can afford to sell them for lower prices than the big chains because we're not involved in all this mess. So availability is the problem, but we can afford to sell these things for less than retailers because we don't have to worry about all these supply chain and inflated price issues. Okay, I hope that was informative. If you have any questions, post them below, but most of all, get busy listing those toys. And when you are outsourcing, at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, wherever. You might wanna look at the toys, especially new in the package toys that could be a gift and get those listed.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.